Good morning. Good morning. Welcome back to Coffee in the Word. Happy Monday, I guess. <laughs> well, it's uh, the first Monday of the Easter season. Oh, good stuff. Good stuff. Well, this morning, uh, we're going to Psalm 118, and then we have a reading in Exodus, and then we're going to Colossians. So let's get started. Psalm 118, verses 1 and 2, and then 14 through 24. And as always, may God bless the reading of his word. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. Let Israel say, his steadfast love endures forever. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. Glad songs of salvation are in the tents of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord does valiantly. The right hand of the Lord exalts. The right hand of the Lord does valiantly. I shall not die, but I shall live, and recount the deeds of the Lord. The Lord has disciplined me severely, but he has not given me over to death. Open to me the gates of righteousness, that I may enter through them, and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord. The righteous shall enter through it. I thank you that you have answered me and have become my salvation. The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Amen. All right. Next we're going to Exodus. Chapter 14, verses 10 through 31, and then we're going to go down to chapter 15, 20 and 21. So, let's get started on that. Get a little coffee here. My throat is really dry this morning. Oh, good stuff. All right. When Pharaoh drew near, the people of Israel lifted up their eyes, and behold, the Egyptians were marching after them, and they feared greatly, and the people of Israel cried out to the Lord. They said to Moses, Is it because there are no graves in Egypt that you have taken us away to die in the wilderness? What have you done to us in bringing us out of Egypt? Is not this what we said to you in Egypt? Leave us, uh, leave us alone, that we may serve the Egyptians. For it would have been better for us to serve the Egyptians than to die in the wilderness. And Moses said to the people, Fear not, and stand firm, and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will work for you today. For the Egyptians, whom you see today, you shall never see again. The Lord will fight for you, and you have only to be silent. The Lord said to Moses, Why do you cry to me? Tell the people of Israel to go forward. Lift up your staff, and stretch out your hand over the sea, and divide it, and the people of Israel may go through the sea on dry ground. And I will harden the hearts of the Egyptians, so that they shall go in after them. And I will get glory over Pharaoh and all his hosts, his chariots, and his horsemen. And the Egyptians shall know that I am the Lord, when I have gotten glory over Pharaoh, his chariots, and horsemen. Then the angel of God, who was going before the host of Israel, moved and went behind them, and the pillar of cloud moved uh, from before them and stood behind them, coming between the host of Egypt and the host of Israel. And there was a cloud, a, a, and, and there was the cloud and the darkness, and it lit up the night, without one coming near the, the other all night. Then Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and the Lord drove the sea back by a strong east wind all night, and made the sea dry land, and the waters were divided. And the people of Israel went into the midst of the sea on dry ground, the waters being a wall to them on their right hand and on their left. The Egyptians pursued and went in after them into the midst of the sea, all Pharaoh's horses, his chariots, and his horsemen. And in the morning, Watch the Lord in the pillar of fire. And a cloud looked down on the Egyptian forces and threw the Egyptian forces into a panic, clogging their chariot wheels so that they drove heavily. 
And the Egyptians said, Let us free, flee from before Israel, for the Lord fights for them against the Egyptians. Then the Lord said to Moses, Stretch out your hand over the sea, that the water may come back upon the Egyptians, upon their chariots, and upon their horsemen. So Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and the sea returned to its normal course when the morning appeared. And as the Egyptians fled into it, the Lord threw the Egyptians into the midst of the sea. The waters returned and covered the chariots and the horsemen, and all the host of Pharaoh that had followed them into the sea, not one of them remained. But the people of Israel walked on dry ground through the sea, and the waters being a wall to them on their right and on their left. Thus the Lord saved Israel that day from the hand of the Egyptians, and Israel saw the Egyptians dead on the seashore. Israel saw the great power that the Lord used against the Egyptians, so that the people feared the Lord, and they believed in the Lord and his servant Moses. And then skipping down to 15, uh, 20 and 21. Then Miriam the prophetess, the sister of Aaron, took a tambourine in her hand, and all the women went out after her with tambourines and dancing, and Miriam sang to them, Sing to the Lord, for he has triumphed glorious, gloriously, the horse and his rider he has thrown into the sea. Mm. It's always a great story to read, you know. <laughs> All right, uh, the uh, the epistle lesson this morning, We're going to Colossians chapter three, verses five through eleven. Put to death, therefore, what is earthly in you: sexual immorality, impurity, passion, evil desire, and covetousness, which is idolatry. On account of these, the wrath of God is coming. In these, you too once walked, when you were living in them, but now. You must put them all away, anger, wrath, malice, slander, and obscene talk from your mouth. Do not lie to one another, seeing that you have put off the old self with its practices, and have put on the new self, which is being renewed in knowledge after the image of its creator. Here there is not Greek and Jew, circumcised and uncircumcised, barbarian, Scythian, slave, free, but Christ is all and in all. And this is the word of the Lord. All right, we'll go to the Pray Now app this morning, and I'll read the prayer of the day. All right, let us pray. O oh God, in the Paschal Feast you restore all creation. Continue to send your heavenly gifts upon your people, that they may walk in perfect freedom and receive eternal life. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. All right. Well, I hope and pray that you all have an awesome day. Have a great week uh, as we all go back to work this morning. <laughs> so with that, be safe, be happy, be blessed. We'll see you tomorrow on Coffee in the Word. God bless.